Hi guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a fashion challenge where I'm going to attempt to dress in a specific aesthetic every single day. This is either going to be really easy or really really hard as I don't know a lot about the whole like aesthetic world. Why not for an entire week try five different fashion aesthetics and you know, make outfits around them and uh, see if I can pull it off. Because I know that I have, I think, a lot of different pieces from every different type of aesthetic. And then I kind of just mix and match things and then like figure out what works best. But now I'm actually going to have to put together outfits that fit the aesthetic itself. And not so much about just seeing what works. Which is basically what I do. It's <laughs> just figuring out what works. Um, so I don't know anything about aesthetics or I don't, well, I, don't, I don't know too much about aesthetics that literally on my content creator notion page I literally asked the AI feature for five different aesthetics with their top must have must have like fashion must haves and they gave me such so the five that it gave me was cottage core y2k minimalist grunge and bohemian with like four to six different must-have items that are traditionally in those fashion um, pieces that people go for. So I think I'm just going to do this in the order that it's given, one through five, and just do cottage, Y2K, minimalist, grunge in that order, um, just so that I don't make it more complicated than it really needs to be. So that means that tomorrow, Monday, I will be doing cottage core, which is I think the fashion sense that I definitely like lean towards a lot more. I love the cottage core look. I think minimalist and cottage core are the two that I am probably the most familiar with, with my own personal fashion sense and my own personal liking in clothing and style. Um, but I really don't think that I follow it to like the exact T. Uh, but I definitely know that I have pieces for both. So tomorrow will be cottage core. So they said for cottage core you need floral dresses, straw hats, lacy blouses, vintage and vintage inspired accessories. I don't own a straw hat. Does anybody own a straw hat? I feel like straw hats are very it's like it's a very niche group of people. Lacy blouses, vintage inspired accessories, floral dresses. I have floral dresses. That's not the hard part. Um, lacy blouse? I don't know if I have any lacy blouses, actually. Honestly, I'm thinking about going onto, um, Pinterest and literally looking up, because it's winter where I'm at, like, it's been snowing recently, so I might just, like, look up, like, cottagecore winter outfit ideas. Because I know that Pinterest is going to have ideas. Um, here, let me screen record my phone so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So it is a lot of like, like, um, garden, vent, like floral, greens, whites. So I could probably do something like along these terms like I have like the jeans and stuff um when I think of cottage tour I definitely think of like Gilmore Girls like that fall Gilmore Girls look which is definitely the look that I go for I definitely love fall Gilmore Girls like that's definitely my aesthetic and one that I love so much and I want to dress more around so I feel like this is going to be fun for me because this is what I try to look like I don't think I'm very successful at it, but this is like what I attempt. So this one for me is going to be a bit more of like a fun little like uh, let's see if I actually can pull it off kind of situation. Hmm. Definitely a lot of cardigan sweater energy. I do have a um, floral dress that I actually could turn into um, a skirt and then just put like something over the top of it. I actually have two different ones. I have like a longer one that's like kind of like, more, like, like kind of actually supposed to be like a sundress. Um, and then I have one that's more like more like a small, more dainty style one too. But I see a lot of like longer flown, flowed dresses. So I wonder if that's more something that I should probably tailor towards and not do the more like dainty look. Like even here you can see like the longer um, like uh 
skirt. Energy. Hmm. But I also could do like leggings, like my tights um, underneath the shorter one. And then I could wear like a really specific pair of shoes that I have. I don't own any actual like skirts. I also have that green one piece that I could try to make into something. Oh, I also do have that white undershirt. Like I could do something like this almost. But I'm not sure if the blue, because it's a blue dress, it's not green, it's a blue dress. So I'm not sure if that would throw it off too much. Because I want to see a lot of blue options. <laughs> and a lot of like, especially when it comes to like dresses, a lot of the dresses are brown neutrals, which I have a brown dress. But I don't think it's fitting. Unless I wore it as like making it into like a skirt. I don't think it'd be very fitting on its solo basing. I feel like, that, I feel like the dress, a solo dress would be kind of cheating on my end. Because it's already like a long sleeve. Like it, it does all the work for me. So I want something a little bit more like I actually have to put things together and like make an outfit. Hmm. Okay. Well, this definitely gives some ideas for sure. Also, I might even go as far as to do my nails different for every single day. So like with cottage cores, they wear probably like, like that pinky neutral color. Um, maybe even like bits of green. Um, colored dress that pink. I feel like that's kind of like the energy I should be shooting for. I really wish I didn't I had more than just blue dresses. I feel like all of my dresses are blue. I don't know why I have so many I have so many blue options with dresses, not in many other colors. But yeah. Tomorrow and we can see if I actually am able to pull off an outfit. Okay, good morning. Happy Monday. Challenge number one. Let's do this. These shoes. I'm very glad I ever I got those I got those because those actually fit very well. I did my nails this like nude pink, like almost brown-ish pink. I'm not going on, so I literally have turned this dress into a skirt. Because it literally is a longer dress, but I just like made it like a longer type of thing. Um, and then this, so I got this from Timu. And I got this from Timu. And it's this bell shirt. Um, so it's Bell's Bookshops, Tales of Old as Time. Which I feel like is very like that cottage feeling. I feel like she's a good Disney princess to reference for cottage core. And they have the like frills. They're more detailed. I kind of like these as an option. Um, so I do have some pieces. My thing is like, do I put on makeup? I put on some light makeup. Nothing crazy. I don't want anything crazy. Hello, it is Monday night now. I am in PJs, I have no makeup on. Nails are cleaned. And we are going to be looking at the next aesthetic for tomorrow. I don't think I have any plans tomorrow. Oh, at least it don't require me leaving the house. I'm not positive on that though. Um, and the next one on the list was the Y2K one. I'm not sure why you guys could see that. Um, my creator page is like quite literally just full of ideas for YouTube videos. And then my calendar. <laughs> Like, just full of YouTube ideas um, of things that are going to be coming up, plans I have for content, etc. But the next aesthetic was Y2K, which they say low-rise jeans, crop tops, platform shoes, mini skirts, and butterfly clips. So, aka middle school. Quite literally, like, the early 2000s um, middle school years for me. Uh, I'm also watching a Twitch live stream. I just have it on mute, so that's why like, the, it keeps changing. Um, I did kind of, I'm gonna look at, uh, Pinterest. The only thing I've already looked up was, like, nail colors. It's not exactly sure, like, I don't remember nail color options or, like, what was popular back in the day. 
just because I didn't wear nail polish at the time in my life, so like I didn't like pay attention to that kind of stuff. Yeah, once again, I will <clears throat> screen record. Um, and I did specify for winter again because it's like freezing over here. And a lot of this stuff just looks like things I would have definitely would have seen my friends wear or I would have worn back in like middle school. Some of this stuff also looks a little bit like minimalistic. Um, I feel like Y2K was very Hello Kitty layered, just maybe a little bit of like a preppy kind of like mid, mid place, like Avril Lavigne meets like a preppy cheerleader meets like a Hello Kitty kind of like girl like I feel like it was very like mixed the Ugg boot vibes um the baggy jeans crop tops so yeah I definitely have an outfit in my in my head that I can definitely wear um because I definitely have the stuff uh to pull off an outfit I feel like I wear a lot of this stuff actually like already <laughs> in, my, in my own little ways I feel like I have a lot of pieces that I can definitely pull from for sure uh so I actually kind of already have an outfit in my head um, which is good. So like Y2K is definitely something that I already kind of wear. And that could just because of like my growing up and like my childhood and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what nail colors to do though. Like, I know that there are some, you look online and it says like, oh, they want like neon and vibrant. But then the other part of me is like, do I go with like a black? Because I have black sitting here actually. Or should I go with like a pink? Or should I do like a nude? Or like a French tip? Like, I don't know what nails to do. Bright colors. So I feel like that's probably what I'm gonna have to like figure out. It's like pastels. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot of pastel colors. Which I don't own any pastel nail polishes. That's a sandwich. Wait, do you have to land on red spaces in order yeah, to- that's how it yes. works. Yeah. What? What is this? Sandwich! You just stack up, you just oh. stack up. Good morning, guys. So, today was the Y2K, which is kind of basically like the early 2000s. It was just basically like, you know, elementary school, middle school for me. Um, and... Oh my gosh, I have like class in like a few minutes, but I was able to kind of piece together some stuff that I remember wearing fairly often when I was in school. Um, <laughs> I have this like tank top, it's like one of those old style like tank tops, and then I have this um, Rolling Stones, like always has Rolling Stones that I just tied to make it like a crop layer and then I have this like oversized um snoopy jacket and then I have these low-rised jean shorts that are really low-rised these definitely are more high-rise um I just wear them a bit lower uh and then the nails are like all like neon and like colorful freaking crocs or something like that we all remember back in those days where you could like tuck in this little tie that no one ever did <sighs> so, you know. so yeah i think i did this justice i hope i did this justice And of course, I have the slippers, the infamous slippers that we all wore to school, out and about. I almost forgot to mention, I have the slippers on. Well, hello. Once again, it is the nighttime. I am back in pajamas. Um... <laughs> And we are going to be doing the next one. The next one on the list is minimalist. So, of course, we are going to screen record. And we're going to look up
Like, oh, it gives you a bunch of different things, but it does not give you. <laughs> um, Mindless winter outfits. <laughs> I know it's like a lot of like simple colors, simple palettes. Um, very neutral. I know that. Hmm. Not, I don't, tomorrow was supposed to be very snowy in my neck of the woods. Um. Hmm. Ooh, do like a leggings with a hoodie and then like my boots. Like this is something I can definitely do. I could definitely do this style. I have literally, I'm literally wearing those slippers right now. I have jumpers and hoodies. I have leggings. I could literally do this. <laughs> Rock? Well, let's have a little chat. You start. Okie dokie. Good morning. So here is the outfit for today. I did my nails. Um, and a little trying to follow that one I saw on Pinterest. A little over shirt. It's really soft, but it has that like similar um, style. I'm just wearing leggings and I have my slippers. <laughs> but yeah. Hello, hello, hello. It is once again that time of night. I'm looking at my Notion page. The next one is grunge. Flannel shirts, ripped jeans, band tees, combat boots, and layer accessories. I feel like this is probably the actually one of the most things that I wear. I wear ripped jeans, band tees, oversized shirts. Like, I feel like this is probably the style I might fit maybe more. Now that I'm like thinking about my wardrobe, I don't even look at Pinterest for ideas. I genuinely know exactly what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> Hello, I got my base layer on but I did a little like layer situation so I have this just basic like long sleeve and then I have this Metallica um shirt like band shirt um it has like the tour dates on the back uh from Urban Outfitters and then I am wearing Again, I'm wearing that long t-shirt so that it, like, layers. And then I have black jeans. These are from Timu. Hello everybody, I am finally getting to filming this, the filming is a little bit later than I usually do. It's been a crazy day of doing running errands in the city, which I have more to do in the city tomorrow. Um, my mom has more job interviews, blah blah blah. But tomorrow I believe is the last day of this challenge, which is crazy. And tomorrow is Bohemian, if I remember correctly. I don't know if this is a cop-out outfit for Bohemian, but I don't feel good. <laughs> I still have to go run errands though, that doesn't stop. Life don't stop when you're sick, but I feel like actually shit and I think I've caught something. Um, so I'm wearing a one piece. <laughs> so.
Here you go. <clears throat> I have this black, like, romper, and it has, like, the flare baggy ass pants. Because, <laughs> like, this thing is, like, you know. Hi, oh my gosh, I am sitting here editing this video and realized that I never ended said video, but um, yeah, after that last clip I actually was really sick for a few days. Um, I think I've been okay now for like a day or two, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little fashion challenge. Sorry towards the end there, it kind of got like a little lazy. Um, I definitely started to feel really, really sick and kind of started losing this interest in the spark and doing, doing the challenge. Uh, so I just did what I could <laughs> at that moment. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog, which will be a Thanksgiving vlog. But until then, bye!